Hi guys, it's me, Jordan. I know it's been a while, but I am back today with a new makeup video. Um, today we are going to be trying out the new Tati Beauty Blendiful and seeing how well that works. So if you want to find out more, just keep on watching. Okay, y'all. So I just received the Tati Beauty Blendifuls in the mail yesterday and I've been dying to try them out so I'm just gonna grab a headband before we start I'm just gonna pull my hair back um, I have no makeup on as you can see um, because I'm gonna be trying to do my makeup with these I use a beauty blender every single day to do my foundation concealer baking all of that jazz so I'm curious to see how this will compare. So first I'm gonna prime. Um, I'm not gonna use one of the Blendifuls to prime because I usually just use my hands to prime. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna be taking my favorite primer at the moment and it's the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. I'm not gonna use a new primer today because I really wanna just do my normal, you know, favorites, what works for me to really see if this blendiful actually works. Okay, so now that this has dried, I'm going to be taking my favorite foundation at the moment, and it's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation, and I'm in the shade 150 Lace, and it is such a good foundation. So I'm going to do what I normally do and pump some on the back of my hand, like so. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna, I guess, grab foundation on here and I'm gonna lean in so you can see close up, high definition. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my earrings out. So I did like two pumps and it's covered m mostly the lower half of my face. I'm just going to blend down my neck really quickly before I do another pump. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep going. So this time I'm going to pump directly on the Blendiful to see if that makes a difference. I don't know if it does, but we're just going to see. So I did about one pump on here. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to dab it. Uh. <laughs> so... Right away, I'm noticing that I'm having to use a lot more foundation than I normally would. Um, because this cloth is kind of, it's kind of soaked up a good bit of it, but it's not horrible. I'm just noticing that I'm having to use a good bit of foundation. But overall, I think it did a really nice job. I mean, blended everything in really well. So far, so good. Next, let's move on to concealer. So I'm gonna take my favorite concealer, which is the Jouer Concealer in the shade Lace. And I'm just gonna do what I normally do. And we're gonna see how this works with some concealer. All right. Okay, so now that my concealer is pretty much blended in, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys kind of see what's going on. I haven't said anything yet, um, and this is like really, really close up, but as you guys can see, I mean, 
looks pretty dang good to me. So let's go ahead and set it. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. Okay, and I'm just gonna let that bake for a second. Um, what I really love about this is that when you go to bake like your under eye area, um, and that's all I've baked right now, as you can see, I'm letting it sit there for a second. Um, you can really get in there with this pointed end of the Blendiful, which is something that sometimes I have trouble with my beauty blender. Um, I, you can't pinch it like this and get into the powder and really set as easily. So I really do like that about it. It is weird doing liquid makeup with something dry, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm so used to my beauty blender. But so far, so good. So I'm just gonna wipe this excess away and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I just quickly filled in my brows with a little brow gel. Um, uh, they're messy, but I just did it really quickly because I wanted something on my brows. So don't mind those. Um, we are here for this. Um, so now we're gonna continue with some contour and some blush and everything. So normally I contour with powder and not creams. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer, which is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm gonna take the same Blendiful and I'm just gonna rub it in the bronzer and see what happens. Oh, holy crap! That blended out so quickly, holy crap. Okay. Um, I'm just going to bake now, so. I'm going to take one of my favorite blushes, which is this blush by Lorac called Spectra. I'm guessing that you just... I don't know. We're going to see. Oh my God. Holy. Wow. Um, so I just wiped the bake off and just kind of fixed blush. So you have to be kind of careful with the blush because it's, uh, it's really, if you use a pigmented blush like I just did and then you just go in, it's kind of hard, but it blended out fine. Um, it just took a minute. So I'm going to finish it off with this little bitty guy to use some highlighter. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. sorry um do you s holy crap wow okay okay that was the easiest highlighter application ever i'm gonna top it because i'm extra and so i'm gonna put extra highlighter <gasps> oh oh <laughs> Okay, I don't think you guys can actually like see this fully. So I'm gonna shut off the lights and just have my ring light on so you can see how crazy this is. Here is how intense. Isn't that literally insane? Like, holy crap. I'm gonna probably leave this light off because this is actually a little bit better lighting. But holy, holy crap. I <laughs> cannot believe
believe it just applied highlighter like this. I'm, I'm shook. Okay, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup, just do something simple, and then I'll be back for my final thoughts. Okay, guys, I am back with my final thoughts on the Tati Beauty Blendiful. Um, I just threw on some mascara and a liquid lipstick. Um, before we move on, I just want to shout out the brand Carity. My CVS just got their makeup in, and I didn't know that. I knew about the brand before this, but I didn't know that every time you make a purchase, they donate to animal charity. And I'm a big advocate um, for adopting, not shopping. So I would just like to give a shout out to them. Their liquid lips are amazing. Um, so yeah, if you haven't checked them out, go to their website, go to their Instagram. They're called Carity, K-A-R-I-T-Y. Buy something, you'll get some amazing makeup and you'll get to support some cute little fur babies. Okay, back to business. So the Tati Beauty Blendifuls, I'm speechless. I didn't know what to expect, um, but I absolutely love them. I haven't washed them yet, obviously, but I'll update you guys in the description box below if anything happens while I wash them. Hopefully they'll go back to normal, um, which is what she said they would do. You can wash them in soapy water. Um, so yeah, they blended my makeup so fast, so beautifully. The only downside I would say is that I did have to use a little bit extra foundation than I normally did, but it was so worth it because I mean, this blend is just effortless. The thing that I'm most shook about is the way the little heart-shaped Blendiful applied highlighter. I'm never going back. Like, <laughs> My highlighter has never looked this wet, this blended, and this good. I am stunned. So I would say if you're on the fence about ordering these, just go ahead and do it. They're only $18. There are two of them. That's like $2 cheaper than a regular beauty blender, and you get two of them. You can throw them in the washing machine. You can wash them in your sink with any kind of soap. I think they're definitely worth it, and... I'm going to keep playing and using them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below what you would like to see next. I have missed you guys. It's been a minute since I have made a video. Life has been crazy, but I am back and I am better than ever. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Bye, guys.